Hello friends, welcome. In this video I'm going to install the iTerm 2 in my Mac and I'm going to customize in my needs. So to do that if I open the terminal and I have installed the homebrew so we can install from here or if you want you can search for iTerm 2 here it is, you can download it. Okay, now it's download. Let's come here, open. Now we need to move the application folder. Let's do that. Okay, so here it is now the iter. And let's uh, customize first. I'm going to go to the iter and preferences. Okay, first thing if you go to the closing here, I want to un uncheck this too. So when we close it, we don't need to confirm that. Next thing is uh, remove this. Okay, and go to the appearance, choose the minimal here. Windows, I think we are, if you want to show the number here, it's okay, but uh, I don't want that, so let's remove that. And I want to remove the line under the title, so I want as minimal as possible. Show tab numbers, if we have many tabs, and leave the tabs. Uh, to have a close button, I'm going to leave it as it is. Let's go to the profile and here go to the text. You can change anything, but just I'm going to go to the text here. And first, I'm going to zoom it to say, yeah, as like this. You can play with that. Uh, let's Leave it as it is right now. Okay, next uh, go to the keys. And if you see here a hot key for open a dedicated window with this profile, so let's click here and click the set. Now here you can add what you want. I want to use the tilde here, S click OK and I think we are good. Let's close this. And now here we have the uh, item. Just click tilde, click again, and it's show. Okay. Next thing, I'm going to, you see here if I close this and open item again. Uh, in my case, I don't show that, but maybe you see uh, the last login. And what you need to do is just say uh, touch. And you need to say push login. Just like this, and you are good to go. So after that, let's go and install the Omizush now. So I'm going to say here, oh my Zeus, and install this. We need to copy this command. Go to the I term, paste that command in, hit enter. Okay, clear this and go to the directory. 
Okay, next thing. Now here you can... Uh, here we have plugins, we have themes. And if you want, you can go and play with that. So... Customization. But two uh, plugins I want to install is the auto suggestion and syntax highlighting. So let's go for the CC auto suggestion. Here we have. And just uh, on this one, go to the item, paste that in, and we need now to add this to the plugins inside the SHRC. So let's copy this, open. I'm going to open with a Vim and SHRC. Sorry, okay. and go go down when we find the plugins yeah here it is and insert here the plugin escape okay we need to run the source Clear. And you see here now if I say clear again, we have that auto suggestion. Let's install also the syntax highlighting and come here say SH syntax highlighting mark. So we need to clone this one or just copy here, hit enter and we need to add this string to the plugins. So the same thing we have done. Let's uh, go up and find again the plugins. Yeah, here it is. Paste that in. Escape and uh, run again the source. So let's... Okay. Now if you see, we have a syntax highlight. Okay, and you can uh, play with uh, fonts or when with anything, but I think for me is this useful. So I have the default uh, theme here. So Robbie Russell, you can go and find how many themes you want. So if I go here, so here we have uh, themes, but I am okay with that. Uh, I have used for some time the if I find this one now I think yeah this Fino I have used this one but uh, I think this uh, is more clean so I stick with this one okay friends uh, that's it and hope you enjoy and see you in the next video please if you like like the video subscribe to my channel and all the best